See, under state law, you're being recorded by video and audio. Yeah. Put your hands behind your head. Yeah. Keep your hands where I can see them. Put your hands behind your head. Stay there, Molly. Yeah. Back up towards the sound of my voice, please. Interlace your fingers. Relax. Okay. Interlace your fingers, sir. Okay. Uh, Molly, you living here now? Why are you here? Okay, well, this isn't a place where you need to be. You know that stuff that happened up on Central? You know that stuff that happened up on Central? It's going to happen here. Okay? Pretty quick. Everything you do that's against the laws is going to be strictly enforced. Okay? Mark, you got a warrant. All right, got to take that care of. Who else is in there, Molly? Yeah, I know. Are you staying up in three upstairs? I'm not staying here. You're not? You're just visiting? Are you visiting Mark in number three? Okay, sounds like you're on a, on a path that's not so good. I'm getting word that you're really a mess. You losing a lot of dope? No. No? Okay, you look all right right now, but I saw you the other day and you were bouncing all over the place. Who lives in number one, Mark? Uh, Cassie, that, she just did a movie in there today. Cassie who? I don't know what that's You don't know her name? Okay. All right, she drives a white car? Uh, uh, drive. It's probably on that mailbox. Okay, cool. Molly, what are you going to do? Because you can't be here. Him okay. And I, uh, tell Johnny what's going on and, and um, where's John at? John is the landlord. Yeah, I know John. Where's he at? I don't know. Okay. He just left. He usually comes by the yeah. yeah. Okay, well, he's not returning my calls. I'm a little upset about that. A little hurt. Yeah. Oh, feelings, was, you know? He was on Christian for a little while. Okay, hey, Molly. Yeah. Don't come here. Okay. All right? All right. Hey, look at me. Because there ain't nothing but bad things going on here, going on here, just like Central. Okay? And get yourself some help. Are you eating down at the HOC? Where are you eating at? Where are you living at? Well, Springdale, kind of. They Springdale, kind of? Well, this is kind of a long ways from Springdale. Okay, so Trinity. Is, Trinity was here yesterday? Yes. What's she doing? Is she trying to help you out or what? Yes. Okay. All right, get some help, all right? All right. Uh, I think, I, if I understand, uh, this is for... Uh, you are, I was, you I was, are, I think. Yeah, I, I was supposed to um, turn myself in and do like... Uh, well, you haven't, okay. Days. Right, yeah. but you, you have, you've had this one for a while. Yeah. Uh, I, okay. I went there and... Uh, I'm, no, I'm I didn't make one. Go ahead. Yeah. Good. Hey, get back inside for a sec. I'll come talk to you in a minute. Sorry about that. I got Mark in custody. Go ahead and send it also. 1103, go ahead. The guy on the white car, she's nowhere to be seen. I could probably disregard the search on that. Copy. Who's that dude? Mm -hmm. Who's that guy that just came Oh, Cameron, okay, that's Kathy's, the one that moved in downstairs. Uh, 49440, sir. Okay, you got anything in your pocket? Tell me. Anything can poke me, stick me, cut no. me? No. Okay, you were under arrest. Okay, spread your feet about three, three feet apart. Okay, yeah. step. Uh, stand just like that. I'm going to search your pockets. Anything that I need to worry about that's of high value or anything like that you're concerned mm -hmm. about losing? Mm -hmm. Okay. Can I, am I going to just start spending that 40 days? Or? I don't know what you're going to do. i got to read you the warrant when we get down there. Okay? I go by what the judge... Says, okay, when somebody asks you if you have anything sharp in your pockets, please remember pocket knives that are open, okay? I don't want to get cut, stuck, stuck, or anything like that. <clears throat> Very important you remember what's in your pockets. I can tell you everything that's in my pockets, okay? All right, you drinking already this morning? Is that what's in the cup, or is that coffee? No, it's water. Okay. All right, man, I appreciate your cooperation. You've kind of been dodging me for a bit. I've been by here a couple times. You got kind of quite the network. People uh, telling you we're coming or what? No. Did you go up knock on the door? What's that? Yeah, I'm knocking your door before you never come to the door. Yep, I don't know. I'm a nice guy, really. I don't, I don't know why you wouldn't answer the door for me, especially before, because I didn't even know you had a warrant the first time I came here, and I heard you inside, but you didn't want to come to the door. Look at what I did is uh, I started. Uh, Saving up, you know, for my rent. And I'm, are, you, I'm, are, I, are you up on your rent? Yeah, I got it to where now I'm, I'm two months ahead. What is that? Ahead. No, I'm playing left. Oh, wow. I'm two months ahead. And I covered that period. Yeah.
Okay. Mark Bloomer, B L U M E R, right? Yeah. Okay, what's your middle name? O? Oh. Okay, what's O stand for? Odeen. Odeen? Don't hear that name too often. Mark Odeen Bloomer. It's kind of a cool name, it's got a nice ring to it. Sounds like a movie star or something, you know? I'm gonna double wash the trash between the back seat. Now my back seat's a special back seat. Okay? You know why it's special? Because I'm a big guy. And we moved that cage back so I can fit in it. Okay, so the space is limited. Put your belly button against the gas tank. Space is limited, so it's going to be a tight fit for you. What I recommend you do, sit on your bottom, scoot yourself back, put your legs across the seat like you're sitting on a bench or a, uh, or like a uh, shrink chair. Okay? So take this out. Go down a seat. Oh, that's not quite what I told you. There you go. Yep. Hi. Four good start, 13 to go. Coming to 86. Go ahead, Ruby in Indiana. 218 East, Baldwin and Nora 34. Are you in an apartment there? No, I just need someone to sit tight with my passenger while I make a contact here. And not a rush, just watch him. All right, I'm Officer Downing, yeah, Spokane right. Police. Hey, just want to let you know, under state law, you're being recorded by video and audio. Okay. Um, hold on for a sec. Hey, Jim, will you just watch him for a minute? All right. Um, you just move in? Uh, yeah, we've been here a couple days now. Okay, who's we? Uh, me and my significant other. Okay, what's her name? Um, does that really matter? Well, it does, and I'll tell you why. Uh, just let me preface this, okay? Um, this address is a huge problem, okay? It's a nuisance issue. Right. I know the gal that just moved out of here. I'm glad she's gone. If she comes back here, she needs to be gone because she's going to cause another problems for anybody that lives here. Okay? I totally understand. I know. Been talking to John. You're talking about yeah. John Trump quite significant, quite extensively. Um, if you don't tell me who it is, John will tell me who it is, okay? Because he wants to not lose this place. Right. All right. I'm not here to hammer you or anything like that. I want good tenants here. Yeah, it's me and my girlfriend. Okay. She's actually going to give you this number right here. Oh, what is that? Phone number. Oh, so cool. Maybe Mark can contact us when he gets in, in jail or not. Yeah, Mark's, jail Mark's got some issues you need to take care of. Mark lives upstairs? Yeah. Okay. What's your girl's name? Uh, Catherine. Catherine? My name's Cameron. Cameron, you guys married? No, not yet. It's, it's still um, common law in this state. Oh, I gotcha. Going okay. on nine years now. Oh, wow. That's pretty uh, pretty impressive. A lot, of guys, a lot of people can't stay together that long. Very rare. Thank you. Uh, so, I'm sorry. What is your first name? Cameron. The C? Mm -hmm. Camera Ron. C A M E R O N. You got it, yeah. People spell it all different ways nowadays. What's your last name, sir? Fortney with an F. F O R T N E Y. Middle initial? I uh, two of them. L and K. And if you don't mind your date of birth? Sure. Cinco five five eighty three. <laughs> Cinco de Mayo eighty three, mm -hmm. huh? I like that. Okay, um, I'm not here to bust you or anything like that. It cost you any, you know, any issues. Guy in the back, okay, he's good to go. Keeps to himself. He's quiet. Guy upstairs, Mark, who likes to hide from us because I've been looking for him for a while. You know, he's had a warrant I want to take care of. Not a big deal. Just a, you know, a little stupid thing.
<laughs> that uh, he needs to take care of. Uh, you and your girl, Catherine, right? What's her last name? Curly. She drive a white car? No, she doesn't have a car. Catherine with a K or a C. C. C A T H R I N E. C R I N E. And what's your last name? Curly C U R L E Y. Okay, what's your middle? Do you know? She doesn't have one. No? Okay. Uh, is she here? Uh, yes, she is. Okay. Um, what's your date of birth? 4262. Okay. The reason I'm getting your name is I want to know who those were. Okay, if you and Catherine become a huge problem, nuisance type problem, which is a pretty common theme at this apartment complex, I want to know who I'm dealing with, okay, and who I need to address. Sure. All right. Right now, you've been here for three days. I got no, I got no issues with you. Um, you gonna help, help uh, uh, John clean the place up or what? I'm trying to, yeah. I tried working on the toilet a little bit ago, but um, I had no luck with it. I'm not really too mechanical in front. We've got some lines up. And yeah. yeah. Got one piece of glass we're working with. And you gonna put some wood over that window, or is John gonna put in a new window for um, you? Well, hopefully he is. Yeah, we're not quite sure. We got the blinds put up, and we have some blankets on there. Yeah. Uh, there's two couches written there. That look nice. Yeah, those were here, here left here. What's those that? were left here. Yeah. They were. Right. Yeah. yeah um, you seem like you seem like a squared away guy. I don't seem like a, a huge problem. I need to worry about. Let's hope that's the case. And I'm gonna use a pretty good judge of character. So if you're in the dope or stolen property or anything like that, I'm gonna be on you. Um, so I'm just talking to you. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you, you look like you're all right. So let's. I hope that's the case. Um, you've been arrested before. Yeah. For what? Um, possession of stolen property. Yeah, I think. That's Long time ago. Uh, last year. Last year. Yeah. Okay, you on a good path now, or? Trying to, yeah. Just trying to trying to work on what I'm dealing with. Okay, good okay, wait. Okay. Are you good with that? In my addiction with drugs now, all Okay. You, you clean. Clean, on. clean now. All right. Okay. What about Catherine? Um. She uses it. It's been a while, but yeah. it's kind of hard for me with you. I mean, it's kind of hard for her with me here. And the hard for her. Okay, okay. So there could be a problem here. Oh, no, no, no. no there's never been a problem. Well, if you're using it, that usually causes problems for everybody involved. If I, yeah, continue using it, could be the what you, What's your drug of choice? Heroin or meth? Or meth? Yeah, it's destroying people's lives, I'll tell you what. Um, well, good luck to you. It was nice meeting you. Um, let's. let's Keep this off my radar. Okay, let's keep good tenants in here. Mark doesn't seem like a big problem, but uh, if it does become a problem, I'm going to be on you guys, okay? Right. And Molly okay. Kelly, you know Molly that was just here? Don't let her in your apartment. All right? Everywhere she goes, bad problems happen. Okay? Right. Was she in your apartment? No. Okay, because she, she's an intravenous drug user as well. Okay? All right, well, good luck to you. You, need, you get a message from Mark? You want to pass it on to him? Or? Um, yeah, just if you can give him that phone number, please, and have yeah. him call us when he gets in there. Yep. That's my girlfriend's cell phone, so. Yeah, we'll do. All right, good meeting you. Take care. Go see Hawks. Go see Hawks. Yeah, I got it. Hey, uh, James. Go Seahawks. I'm just rooting on the Seahawks, you know. Um, I'm working on it. I'm working on it, brother. Got to do things by the book, you know. Order <laughs> title Just like you do. Giant. So. All right, I'll talk to you Zero later. 072 Zebra Thanks Town, Cleveland, and Farmville. Yeah, um, actually, you know, Giant. the uh, tenants in number one are gone. Got a new guy in there. He says he uses drugs. He's trying to keep clean, so you know how that usually turns out. Mm -hmm. And then Mark lives upstairs. He's just got a little DUI warrant. And the guy in the back's Herman. So if we can keep... Up there, there. Every time I go, there's like eight people in there. Well, that's, yeah, that's his man. apartment. Up in uh, number three. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. his apartment, though. Yeah. And he's... Who's this? This is Mark Bloomer. Okay. This is? Yeah. He's the guy yeah. that was using all the other guys around on a wild goose chase up in the upstairs apartment while the guy jumped out the back. Oh, really? Okay. That was my guy that I was telling you about. Okay. That wanted him to be the OP. Yeah, so I'm working on it. I, I, the problem is, is, it's tough to get a nuisance, you know? I mean, noise calls really don't classify as a nuisance because we don't respond to them, and it's hard to put that into a case file. So, If they respond to them, does it count? If an officer's on scene and says, yeah, I heard the loud music, or yeah, I saw eight people in there that were hooting and hollering as I was walking up. Mm -hmm. 
That's why GU's great because you go to parties with 20, 30 people <laughs> in one, or well, shoot, 200 people in one house, yeah. and I'll, you know, multiple officers get there and they put notes in the call. That's an easy slam dunk. But little little things like this, kind of kind of difficult. Yeah. Have you been contacted by the guy on the corner? The um, guy? Yes. They call him Old Man River. At two two eight. Yeah. I, I've been talking to him about his parking issue, um, but again, we have very little calls there. Yeah. But he's definitely tied into this one. Yeah. He stopped me one day and said, you guys, is there something I should know about this place? <laughs> yeah. <I was> like, <laughs> are you guys watching this house? I go, well, yeah, we heard that it's tied into two eight. Oh, well, I know about that place. My son is here and yeah, he got some issues. But well yeah, we're watching it. Mm -hmm. You didn't like that answer. Well anything you guys got on it, send my way email or whatever. Because I don't always get all the CAD stuff that comes through or the call for service. I try and keep up on them but mm -hmm. all right. Molly Kelly's been hanging out here, you know her. <laughs> She's an extreme tweaker, always bouncing around doing the tweaker dance. She just laughs, she's got a bunch of sores all over her. Wherever she is, there's a lot of heroin and a lot, a lot of meth. Molly Kelly. Molly Kelly. Yeah, pull up her pictures. You'll, you'll know who she is. She used to be downtown quite a bit. Huh. So, all right, guys. All right. Thanks. Doing all right back there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll roll in the window for you. Kind of got a teaser with that cool weather, huh? So Mark, Mark, Mark. Is this a DUI warrant, you think? Is yeah. It? Okay. I'm sorry to hear that. Well, you know what I'm concerned about? I'm concerned about all the garbage that's going on there. I let me tell you what I hear. I hear there's a lot of dope going in and out of number one and number three. That's your place. What's that? Well, that kind of goes hand in hand with the drug culture, you know. You got to support those habits. But what have you done to make sure it doesn't happen? Edward, two eighty-seven and two eighty-three. So, so do you feel like you're? Do you feel like you're? Someone's refusing to leave the residence. Unable to get these people out? Do they bully you or what? Oh really? Okay, well, um, are you on housing? Getting an application and getting in someplace? 
Uh, it seems like you're pretty good friends with Mr. Trump. He's got a couple other properties. Is there someplace you can move over on another one of his properties? Oh, really? Yeah, what? Yeah, uh, I think it'd be a good idea for you to move on to another location because, you know, this is kind of one of my projects, and I'm getting a lot of calls from people that live around you about what's going on there. Okay, well, hey, you know what? But let's make a deal, man. You 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 get this warrant taken care of. I'll I'll help you. I'll be your I'll be your muscle per se. Okay. Uh, you know, if you want somebody out of there that's causing problems, I mean, don't abuse it. But if you got somebody there that's bullying you, I'll come help you get them out. I'll deal with them. Okay. My goal, my goal is to make sure everybody on that block lives peacefully in their houses. It doesn't have to deal with drug traffic and all that stuff. Could you imagine if you had a family, wife, kids, all that stuff, and you had what was going on there living right next to you? How would you feel? The, the guy that's living in number one? Yeah, he's got little kiddos too. Yeah, that's not right. People shouldn't have to put up with that. So, hey, get this warrant taken care of, and uh, open your door when I come talk to you, okay? If you got nothing to hide, you got nothing to hide. Oh, wow. Yeah, Well, let's help each other out, okay? deal you made with the courts, I really can't say. Um, that's kind of between you and them. I would say that whatever the court agrees to do with you, that you follow through with it, because once you don't follow through with it, they put paper on you, and everywhere you go, you got to worry about running into us and getting arrested. Okay? Yeah, that's really important.
Alright sir, go ahead and scoot yourself out. Watch your head on the corner of the door when you get out, okay? Yep, stand right there. Scoot a little bit more to your right if you would. Now you've been here for four, right? We're going to go over here with the same door you went to last time. I've never been in this place, but it's that door right there. Oh, yeah. That's it. Alright, so city with the mail. City with the mail. Thank you. Walk right before that door, standing against the wall, right here, right before the hinges, right here. Just face the wall for me. My name is Bloomer, B-L-U-M-E-R. Come on over here, Mark. Walk straight ahead of you, stand right in front of the door, directly in front of you. Hilliard asshole cop. 